Science. These divers are getting ready for an underwater expedition near Nice on the French coast. But this is no leisure dive. They're scientists and are working on a new marine research project. They're looking for a type of sponge called a cramba cramba because it produces molecules which can be used to make new medicines. This type of red sponge covers the rocks like a fine film and that's why it's so difficult to collect. In order to get it off the rock, the divers gently prise it free with a hammer and knife. The sponge is a living organism which is extremely fragile and must be kept alive. The freshly caught sponges are transported in a special container to this 18th century building which houses the Oceanographic Observatory of Villefranche. There they will be cultured and studied. The sponges are transported in containers which contain seawater. Once they're cultured in this aquarium, they must be kept in climatic conditions adapted for their survival. We're going to fix the optimal conditions to produce the molecules, so we're going to set the water temperature, the light, the brightness, and also the output of water that's just come from the sea, so it's natural water in order they produce a maximum number of interesting molecules. We regularly subject the sponges to stress. We scrape their external tissues because it's in these cases the sponges produce molecules in the seawater. We've developed a procedure which allows us to extract these molecules and analyze them in a lab. All this is being done within the framework of a European project called BAMBO which aims for sustainable production of medicines that come from the sea. The project's being piloted by the Limerick Institute of Technology in Ireland. Next, the molecules are brought to these labs to be analysed and chemically purified. Each molecule may be used for different therapeutic applications, mainly against cancer, but also against Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's, and as antibacterials or antifungals. Why molecules derived from marine organisms rather than from other types of organisms? The marine environment is unique in the sense that you find many creatures which are essentially static, fixed on rocks and so on, which have to defend themselves by producing active molecules. We've developed a procedure for producing these molecules in large quantities which respects the environment, more so than other molecule productions which rely on chemical synthesis. This means that the organisms remain alive that only the molecules are extracted and the environment can keep the living organisms. First of all, the biological activity of the molecules, their capacity to eradicate cancer, for example, must be tested. And they're tested on animals which come from the sea, sea urchins. The process of cell multiplication in these animals is very close to that observed in humans. And the high multiplication rate is close to that of cancer cells. So a molecule which prevents cell division in the embryo of a sea urchin could have anti-cancer properties. Tests are carried out in this laboratory and here under the microscope is the multiplication of cells in an embryonic sea urchin. The resources of the sea are still underexploited and our ability to make the most of them is crucial. Among marine biodiversity, the invertebrates like sponges have not been studied much, yet they contain the ingredients which could lead to a whole new generation of medicines.